Alright folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, take acids and bases, react them together and get your products. And I've got some simple rules up here. Uh, if you have a strong acid with a strong base, you're always going to make water and some type of salt. It's going to be a soluble ionic compound. Now, what I like to do is I like to label everything as far as being strong or weak and if it's an acid or if it's a base. Uh, this is one of the strong acids that you had to memorize and I'm going to write SA above it to let me remember that it's a strong acid. This is one of the uh, strong bases that you memorize so I'm going to write SD above it that way I know it's a strong base. So I now have this label as a strong acid and a strong base. Now if I didn't have these memorized, you might be wondering how do you know which one's the acids, how do you, uh, acids, how do you know which one's the base? Well, it's, it's kind of easy. Uh, the one that's got hydrogen in the front is normally and more likely your acid. Uh, the one that has the OH trailing on the back is your base. So H is in the front, that's going to be your acid. OH on the back is going to be your base. Now, you need to try to figure out what your products are. Okay. Now, if the only rule that you remember is that strong acids and strong bases, meaning just strongs in general, dissociate 100%, meaning break down into ions, then that will help you a lot with just this. Plus, you've got to retain and remember your solubility rules, which is important. Now, since this will dissociate because it's strong, you basically, you know, this is for your scratch work. Uh, your scratch work would be basically you'd have H uh, plus 1, and this NO3 would be negative 1, and this K would be K plus 1, and this OH would be negative 1, because those are your ions. Now, all that you do is you put a different positive with a different negative. Now, when you write that later, this is the one that will combine together and make water. Okay, but for the time being, let's just do some scratch work so we can see this. Okay, put this plus with this negative. So that way you get K plus 1 and NO3 negative 1. After that, you combine these. Since you know this is a strong acid and strong base, they're going to make water. Here's your water right here. Now, after that, on your water, go ahead and uh, let everyone know that that's a liquid by putting an L on it and the salt that we make is potassium nitrate now so this is aqueous because it's soluble in water uh, meaning it makes ions plus it's a strong acid so it dissociates it breaks down to ion same thing here strong base dissociates down to ion so that's also aqueous water is a liquid so it gets the L and this KNO3 is our salt, and remember the rule is all, not, all nitrates are soluble. So that's also an AQ. Now, uh, after I've done this, you know, I like to make sure that it's balanced. So basically what we have here is a balanced equation with the two products shown. Water being one of them, with an L for liquid, and the salt. Now, if you were asked to uh, write these as far as the complete well that's nice we've already got it done it's the HNO3 and it's balanced plus the KOH now remember some professors want you to write AQ and AQ on these arrow then you write H2O liquid plus the KNO3 aqueous so aqueous 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 L for liquid now if you're going to write the ionic equation, or what some people refer to as the total ionic, uh, since this is balanced, we're good to go. Uh, basically it's just going to look very similar to the, our scratch work up here. We're going to have, uh, since they're all strongs, and except for liquid, it'll stay H2O. Since all these are aqueouses, we'll break them down to ions, but the liquid, we don't break apart liquids, solids, and gases. Okay, so solid liquid gas don't break apart. Anyway, this is going to be H plus 1 plus NO3 negative 1 plus K plus 1 
plus OH negative 1 yields this water, H2O liquid, plus K plus 1 plus NO3 negative 1. Just remember, on all these, if you got a picky professor or teacher, the ones that are ions, make sure you put AQ after it. I don't require my students to just because it takes up so much room. So there's the ionic, and if you wanted the net ionic, remember to cancel out your spectator ions, which you have NO3 negative 1 on both sides, and you got K plus 1 on both sides. So that just leaves behind a net ionic equation of pretty much just water, H plus 1 plus OH negative 1 yields H2O liquid. So I've shown you how to break down your uh, your strong acids, your strong bases, make water, make a salt. I also showed you how to write the complete the ionic and the net ionic equations for all of those. Just remember these are not horrible. They're actually very similar to the other ones I've already done. Another name for this is a neutralization reaction. So you know, just watch the video over and over and I hope it helps.